Hi Virgo, this is your reading as you came um, third with Leo, Virgo and Sagittarius. You all gave me, or the video rather, 35 thumbs up. Well done, thank you very much. Your third place for all three of you. So I'm going, I had to make a choice. I don't have any favourites as you know. Um, but um, Leo comes first, then I go to Virgo, and then I will go on to Sagittarius. But your third place. So here we go. Welcome. I'll do the spiel at the end of the uh, video. But welcome, my cyber angels and new viewers. I'm doing my nine card spread, and I'm using the Shadowlands and the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. Okay, this is the Querent, or the overall energy of the week. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I take each car corner card and see what uh, it clarifies on the three cards or vice versa. The three cards um, can also clarify the corner card. So let's get started. Oops, I forgot the um, Sharma Oracle card, the uh, Sharma Mystic Sharma. Never mind. <laughs> uh, the Mystic Shaman cards. Okay, I'll go into that extensively. And I will go extensively into the overall sh uh, c um, theme card or meaning, energy, or the Aquarian card. You can take it as you or you can take it as the overall energy. And you know most probably that by now, if you are a cyber angel, that I work with chakras, not only the angelic chakras, but also I'm a Reiki master and I'm going to use the tarot and the chakras. I've made a review out of this um, book and I'm <laughs> it's becoming a Bible. <laughs> Okay, well, when I dig into a book and I like it, it's like a Bible. And this is the book that I'll be using for your Oracle uh, card. Okay, so um, it is lots of any, uh, information. It's really too much to learn, so that's why I have it with me. Okay, and I'll, I'll, you've got astrology in there, you've got numerology. You know I work with numerology too, so... Uh, with color, uh, the angels, so yes, um, I try to give you as much information as I can, but remember it's a general reading. Okay, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Well, this is your reading, Virgo, for the 29th to the 5th of July, and you are in your strength. You've got the strength card, uh, you're doing weightlifting or keeping fit, perhaps. And I love this because she's got a skinny leg and a fat leg. So that is you can take that as the feminine side or the masculine side. <laughs> or you can see both sides of everything, like shadow and light. I love the way these cards are orchestrated and the artistry. Eight is also your money house and your power house. You are in your power this week. Awesome. You might eat the strength card also represents Leo, so you might even be meeting a Leo. A Leo could be of significance for you. Okay, well, we're going on to Monday. So this is the overall energy. Okay, I will go into this card after the reading. Then you have the Empress. You might not only have a Leo that's interested in you or within your um, energy field, but you could also have the Libra sign, a Libra person. The Empress means fertility, birth, birth of a child or a project, new job, uh, a new house. That's a project, regarded as a project. And growth and blossoming and harvesting. She nurtures, so she n the seeds that she sows, she nurtures them until she can harvest them. It's like giving birth to a child, and you nurture a child throughout its life, and teach, and you teach 
the child the right and the uh, what is right and what is good bad uh, until he or they leave home then that is your harvest done you can see them grow and flourish and start the cycle themselves so you might find out you're pregnant on Monday if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions or you, if you are too mature then you could find out you might become a, an aunt or a grandmother or um, you might hear of a birth and you might be the godmother or the godfather asked to be then on Wednesday <laughs> have you lost your head <laughs> uh, well don't start panicking <laughs> okay don't panic whatever news you get right okay don't lose your head about it take that leap of faith but try to by all means try to get as much information as you can so that you can nurture your quest in life or your journey go forward and take that leap of faith a new beginning new beginning ah there's lots of new beginnings for you okay then we have the five of swords like I said don't lose your head okay on Wednesday just put it back on see it from another perspective and if you don't can't see it then ask a mother figure or somebody that you respect what to do but she most probably will say or they will say be careful what you say and how you behave how your actions are actions speak louder than words because you've got the five of swords so you might feel out of balance <coughs> excuse me so be careful don't get involved in other people's drama stay out of it that's most probably the advice that the mother would give go walk uh, just say uh, I don't want to go into discussion now I'll I'll talk to you when I've got my head around it okay and when we are both calmed down if somebody wants to start a, to fight or pick a fight with you then just say that because that's what the five of swords means on Saturday and Sunday you have the Knight of Pentacles the Knight of Pentacles could be a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus a Taurus and they have news news that is um, durable tangible and for long term it might be that you are getting a new job and you will find your strength in that job this is how I read also in my private extensive readings I also read that way all the cards and up and down that way and the diamond way but I'm just doing the week here okay but these cards do lie next or very close to each other uh -huh. or your mother might be living or this woman that is going to give you advice might be living a distance from you so they might phone you up and give you news like I said advice could be also news the first corner card that you have is the f um, the fool again the seeker it's he's called the seeker here but you've got the fool here you've come a long way on your journey and you are looking back she is looking back don't look back look forward okay look how far you've come it doesn't matter where you are at because you still got a lot of steps to go now um, you learn along your life's path that is also what I'm hearing it doesn't m matter where you begin or where you end it's how do you cope with problems or issues at hand do you walk away from people's drama or do you face the drama and sometimes you have to face the drama and sometimes you don't it's better to walk away 
especially if it's concerned with three people if it's not your uh, it's if it's not your problem then you can say I'll give you a listening ear but I'm not taking party of anything that is what an advocate or an um, a social worker would do so think in a different way don't lose your head about it think of it as it's not your problem so you can stay emotionally detached it's difficult if it is a a friend of yours or a brother or a sister I know but don't get emotionally involved and um, stay in your strength you will receive news or you can give news to somebody else with regards perhaps to pregnancy perhaps somebody is being overpowering this could be towards you as well so take a leap of faith stay on your own path and take it step by step you could be meeting like I said an earth sign and that is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn okay Virgo stay in your strength you could meet a Leo okay or a Libra now we're going to the five of Pentacles okay for the five of Pentacles you might feel out of sorts or left out left out from a group or left you feel left out from the family why talk about it don't argue perhaps because you are somebody's arguing with you all the time um, there might be other people that are envious of you within the group or the family and you feel shunned out because you can't get your ideas across to them just don't bother about people that do not add any value to you and the way you think if they don't respect you uh, and they don't they don't even want to listen to your opinion or why you are strong don't start making a quarrel that is your str strength to walk away look at what you have you've got the heaven gates behind you you are not alone you are have people around you spirit around you the angels and the divine that are more than just one person it could be the outside the family it could be a friend okay look around you be more observant even if it's the next door neighbor go and speak to them somebody that you trust okay perhaps they have they are strong taken a page out of their book go and get the information for all news from them that could help you and you also can join another group that is more to your taste and the way you think like if you are hypothetically speaking if you are at a keep fitness club and you don't you feel left out then join go to another club there's more than one club take that leap of faith to join another club then you have the king of wands the king of wands well you've got the Leo there but the king is Aries and Aries uh, is the is the king of the fire signs and um, what you call it the the Queen is Leo and you have Sagittarius as the page but this could be an Aries but don't exclude Sagittarius or Leo but you are in 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 your strength so be strong as a fire sign take action that is what the king means he's got ideas and he's going to put his ideas into action nobody can drag him away from his ideas he goes and gets them he's creative enough and that could be the issue there right but you go for what you believe in and for what you want you can be open to other people's suggestions but don't go into major arguments or discussions 
if it doesn't serve you. That is what I'm saying. Don't lose your head about it. Be strong. Be firm. Boom. There you go. Grow in your own way. Okay? Be nurturing to yourself. Love yourself. You know what is right and wrong. That is what your mother told you. Taught you. Okay. The last corner card is the nine of wands. You have a lot of fire in your reading. Like I said, walk away from arguments. It's right lying next to the card of arguments. Okay? You've walked away from it. You're done. You don't you don't want to be wounded literally or figuratively anymore. You've had enough of broken hearts and here you are taking a rest. You're leaning on your wand. She's got her head against her hand. She, no, yeah. She's holding on to the staff and she's looking down. It's like if she's in thought. Yes, she's taking a rest. What shall I do next? The ending is there. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You have decided to take that leap of faith. Now I'm going to go into this card and you have ancient ones. The ancient ones. Well, what would you think? This is also number one. Again, a new beginning. Amazing. A new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. Amazing. A new beginning. Giving birth to something. And number one, new beginning. The ancient ones. Well, the ancient ones, if I hear the word and see the picture, it is somebody that um, is here but yet isn't here. And you've got the moon and the sun. So it's rising or going down. Also, uh, if you look very closely, it looks like if she's also drifting, as very spiritual. The ancient ones are our ancestors, are also with us. You're not alone. That's why we've got the gate of heaven here. M remember where you come from. Remember that you are part of the ancient ones, our ancestors. Ancient ones, let's have a look what it means in the book. The essence, the meaning. The ancient ones are the shamans of old who defeat death and escaped from the tyranny of time. Tyranny, arguments. The ancient ones once walked the earth like us in flesh and bone. Now they reside in infinity and can counsel us after we say yes to our calling. They are available to help us attain our full realization, that is our higher self and the spirits. The invitation or task for you that you could do or advice is the ancient ones are inviting you to reach to the future to help birth a new destiny for the earth. Go ahead. Find out who you are becoming 10,000 years from now. If you accept the invitation, great power and blessings will come your way and allow you to craft a new destiny for yourself. Do not hesitate to bite off m do not hesitate to bite off more than you can chew because you have unlimited spiritual resources available right now. Yes, not only spiritual, you have more resources when you need something. Um, how can I s say it? Um, have you ever noticed that when you think you don't know something and you start doing something, something um, wakes up and boom, you just do it and it's done. Like baking a cake. You know it needs eggs, flour, butter, milk, 
sugar, salt, baking powder, and you've never done it without a cookbook. And you're at somebody's house, or you're going on holiday, or you're staying a weekend, and you say, oh, I'll make my cake, and you forgot your recipe book. Because you don't travel with the recipe book, but boom, you make the cake just like that. And it just comes naturally. Sometimes we have moments. So take take the offer and look how you can make your own path work. What you want to do, follow your own path. Some there might be an idea or you might have a feeling. Well that's the ancient ones talking to you. That is what other people call intuitiveness. Your intuition is working. Your intuition will never ever be wrong. Other people might say it's the red flags. You are the one that takes the path, that does the journey and wants to climb higher. Good on you. Go for it. Go for what you want. So long as it doesn't hurt you or anybody else. But sometimes we need an ancient one, a grown up or a grandmother or mother to give us guidance. So also be open to what they say and decide for yourself what you wish to do. Don't make any arguments. It's not worth it. Okay. Now I'm going into the strength card with the chakra and I'm going to explain what the chakras is. And it is a major uh, arcana card. Um, and there you go. Now, you most probably have seen the review. Okay, you most probably have seen the review that I've made on this book. You've got elements and you've got the chakra. It's the third eye chakra. There you go. If you want, I can show you. This is the crown chakra. So this one is the third eye like I said and it's the indigo color then you've got your chakra the sign is fire then you've got the touch symbol which is fixed this is your zodiac sign Leo and this is also how it looks in this book the sign for the third eye chakra so and there's lots more that is astrology there's numerology in this book as well and we have um, the touch uh, different um, we've got meditations we've got uh, working with the chakras we, with the tarot and you've got lots more uh, exercises food uh, it also goes into food well, go and have a look at the review if you want to know what it's all about, this book. So we're taking this card. The card is strength. And my definition of strength is you've come back into your strength. Okay? You've found a, a way to be certain of yourself. Uh, trust yourself. Have faith in yourself that you are on the right journey and that you've walked away from arguments you're staying out of other people's drama you're relaxed you feel great in your own little skin you don't uh, have to feel left out because you are choosing where you want to go and some people might not want you to go with you it's your path everybody has a path of their own and sometimes we cross paths with others. Right. So, the strength card. It, the sub-element is fire. Astrology is Leo. Proud. And anatomy is the solar plex. So, you have opened your solar plex. Okay. That is the chakra of joy and love and laughter. Attributes. Strength demands control by using personal dominance and will. It is tenacious and tenacious. How do know how you say it in English in America? Okay, and lustful. Strength won't be deterred or 
outsmarted. Strength is courageous, dominant and unwavering. Strength is passionate and forceful. Like I said, you're in your own strength. You've taken your... You will not let people deter you. Um, you have faith and you believe in yourself as well. Good for you. Advice. Gather up your forceful energy, your passion, tenacity and courage. Use this to take responsibility for your actions. Don't lose your head about it. Boom. Experience dominance by using mind over matter. The quality of strength is different than the, con than the control over the chariot. Strength functions by fire quality instead of by means of the water element and that's emotions now sh the author also puts a story because with a story people will remember uh, something much easier than when I read facts and figures okay the story is in the literary literary tale Life of Pi, a teenage boy is trapped on a boat with a bingo tiger. I hope you've seen that film. That is such a beautiful film. In order to survive and to also save the tiger, Pi realizes on the knowledge he's gained through exploring religions and the lessons his father taught him about wild animals to demonstrate utmost strength and tenacity. He manages to find food to feed the tiger and himself. Pi keeps the tiger at bay, successfully preventing the animal from attacking him during the sacred ordeal, shared ordeal, remain safe and in control until they reach land. Now that takes a lot of courage that takes a lot of tenacity and concentration and no distraction from others you see nobody's the winner you want to be the, both the winner hmm? nice one I hope you have really enjoyed this reading Virgo please share and like if you would like to reach the first position then get people to watch the video or click and like and share as well okay if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and remember uh, at the end of this week I will on Friday I will discuss the competition if you it, have joined the competition by making a vision board if you have questions or issues then I will be discussing that on Friday night and I do go live for the new people welcome please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified by YouTube if not because I have had reports from uh, my viewers my cyber angels that they're not getting notified I'm putting it out on my Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot and Instagram and also under the community tab on YouTube okay I uh, give away free cards but I also answer questions that are donated by super chat or a super sticker if you would like to have an extensive reading a one-on-one -on -one, I do uh, that as well then please go to my website you can click on the white circle in the top right hand corner or you can find the information below this video in the description box take care and stay safe and be well and enjoy your week love you